welcome back and welcome to the first domain of health. In this video, I'm splitting it up into four sections. Um, it's going to be one video, but just four different subsections. Section one is defining physical activity and introducing what the World Health Organization is. Section two is describing the benefits of physical activity and how it can help overall health. In section three, we'll be talking about tips and tricks on how your family can move more together. And finally, section four is just gonna wrap up the module. So without further ado, let's get moving. So section one is definitions. So the World Health Organization is a specialized organization worldwide that's responsible for public health promotion. The whose goal is to promote health, keep the world safe, and to serve vulnerable populations. Their definition of physical activity is any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy and expenditure. PA, physical activity, refers to all movements including during leisure time for transport to get to and from places or as part of a person's work. Both moderate and vigorous intensity physical activity improves health. So that's just what they define um, physical activity as. However, physical activity looks different to everyone. For some, it may be running each day, training for a 5K, or even maybe a marathon. Whereas for others, physical activity may be going on leisurely walks or doing household chores. Both involve movement, so by definition, that's physical activity. Um, and that is so okay that they're so different. All it really means is that you're doing anything except sitting or laying down, doing nothing you're moving. If you're moving, you're moving, and that's physical activity. And the goal of this module is to get you and your family to move together more. So section two, the benefits of physical activity. Physical activity has significant benefits for one's health, their bodies, hearts, and minds. It also enhances learning, thinking, and judgment skills while also ensuring proper growth and development in younger kids. Throughout the world, one in four adults are not meeting the World Health Organization's recommendations for physical activity, and those who do not meet those recommendations are 20 to 30% more at risk for chronic illnesses or even premature death. Um, be sure to check out the Understanding Exercise Recommendations video um, in the video section on the Transform website at, to find out more on how much physical activity you should be getting and how much physical activity your family members should be getting based off of your age groups to ensure that you're meeting those um, recommendations to obtain your optimal level of health. Exercise has been shown to, um, excuse me, sorry, Exercise has been shown to be an important factor in reducing one's risk of major illnesses such as heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and cancers. Regular physical activity can boost self-esteem, mood, and sleep, which helps an individual to be less susceptible to depression, stress, anxiety, and other mental disorders. Research has also shown that children who meet the WHO's recommendations for physical activity are more likely to become active adults limiting their risk of developing life-threatening conditions, which is why it's important to encourage physical activity at a young age so they become used to physical activity. Regular physical activity can help children and adolescents improve cardiorespiratory fitness. They can build strong bones and muscles, control their weight, reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression, like I mentioned before, and also reduce the risk of developing heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and also obesity, which is a huge pandemic in, sorry, endemic, I think, because it's just within the U.S., but anyhow, it's a major issue in the United States. In adults, regular physical activity can help uh, prevent life-threatening illnesses, it aids in weight management, and also boosts mental health. So all in all, so many benefits, I could go on for days on the benefits of regular physical activity in both adults and children. So section three, tips and tricks. Um, families who share everyday activities together have shown to share stronger emotional bonds with each other, along with better abilities to adapt to situations as a family. If you as a parent encourage everyday physical activity while your kids are at a young age, then they will continue to grow up, also encouraging and embracing physical activity. Whereas if you were to ignore and not prioritize physical activity and exercise, then your children would more than likely ignore it as they grow up, um, which can ultimately lead to detrimental health effects in their futures. So like I said in the previous module, lead by example. 
embrace healthy decisions, encourage physical activity, and make time to do things together so you are setting a positive example for your kids. Encouraging everyday activities at a young age helps set kids up for overall optimal and healthy lifestyles. Um, here are five things that your family can easily incorporate into your routines to increase everyone's physical activity levels. So the first, after dinner or whichever meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, you all eat together as a family, encourage going on family walks around your neighborhood. This is a great way to get those steps in while also spending quality time with each other and being able to talk about your days. Number two is turn that music up and have a dance party while cooking. Um, have the entire family help cook dinner one night. Um, and that way everyone is together in the kitchen and you could blast music, get your groove on, and just get some laughs in. I know it sounds silly, but if you're dancing, you're moving, so it's moving more. The third is you can create a family garden if you have the yard space for it. Believe it or not, gardening is a strenuous chore that usually requires movement for all major muscle groups, so it's a fantastic way to help increase physical activity levels. Creating a garden as a family also allows for each family member to grow their favorite fruits or vegetables. Altogether, a family garden increases physical activity levels, allows for quality time together, and also helps encourage healthy eating if you are able to grow fresh produce. The fourth is family bike rides are another great way to increase physical activity levels and also a great way to spend time with your family. And the fifth is try to make time for family time outside. Even if you're just tossing a baseball back and forth or playing a casual game of tag, um, if you're outside, then I'm sure you're moving. And if you're moving, then you're increasing physical activity levels. And that overall helps maintain optimal levels of health. So those are just a few. Again, that I could go on for days. There's so many things you and your family can do to reach your physical activity level recommendations. Um, but that you can ask a friend what they do with their family or Google is a great source. Um, you could find so many great websites on things you and your families can do together. So just kind of wrapping things up, section four. Remember what I said in the very first module, every family is different, unique, and special in their own ways. What I listed before may work for some families, but be totally outrageous for others. Like I just said, that's what Google's for. There are so many videos, websites, and resources that list numerous ways for families to move more together. Ask your friends and other families what they do to be physically active and see if that works well for your family. There are so, 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 so many ways to increase your physical activity, and there are so many more ways to find that help. So figure out what works for your family and slowly incorporate that into your routines. Remember those three points in the previous module. It's never too late to change. Baby steps and lead by example. And now we're going to add one. Let's get moving.